Good day and mabuhay. I am Jerome A. Tayao, the fourth member of Group 4 and I will discuss the DBMS we used to create this project. In this part of the project, we applied all the ideas, theories, and concepts we have gained from the previous steps, such as the project description, enterprise data modeling, business rule, ERD, EERD, and relational schema. First, what is DBMS? A database management system or DBMS is a software package that allows user to design, create, access, maintain, manipulate, and retrieve data and information. It is a software system that uses standard cataloging, retrieving, and running queries on data. The DBMS manage incoming data organizes it and provides ways to modify or extract the data by users or other programs. The DBMS used in this project is Microsoft Access. Microsoft Access is a database management system from Microsoft that combines the relational access database engine with a graphical user interface and software development tools. Access is an easy-to-use tool for creating business application from templates or scratch. With its rich and intuitive design tools, Access can help us create appealing and highly functional applications in a minimal amount of time. At this juncture, let us now proceed to the presentation of our database. In the Objects Navigation pane on the left side, here, we can see all the tables and names of each entity. I will further discuss this part of the program later. But first, I will show you the relationships in this database. As we can observe, the four entities from our business rule are present in this database. The medical aid, the appointment, the citizen, and the vaccine. We can also see the connections or relations from our ERD. We have a mandatory many-to-many -many relationship between medical aid and appointment, mandatory one-to-mandatory many between appointment and citizen, mandatory one-to-mandatory mandatory many also for the vaccine and citizen, and between the medical aid and vaccine, we have mandatory many to mandatory many. From our relational schema, we added new table for multi-valued attribute. So we have here the medical aid position, the appointment dosage, and vaccine manufacturer. In each table, we can see the attributes that are also explained in our EERD. For the medical aid, we can see here the employee ID, the first name, the middle name, and the surname of the employee. Most of the data type here are in short text. And for the primary keys, we restrict the field size into 10 while 30 for short text. If the short text needs more characters, we declare a field size of 150. For the medical aid position, we have employee ID and the position which can be vaccinator, doctor, or encoder. For the appointment, we have uh, the registration number, registration number, the date, the time, the location, and the employee ID of the vaccinator. So for the date, we have a uh, date and time. Date and 
uh, date and time data type and date and time data type as well for the time. For the appointment dosage, we have first dose and second dose. For the citizen, we have the citizen ID, the first name, the middle name, the surname, the birthday, the street number, the street name, barangay, town, province, registration number, and lot number of the vaccine. For the vaccine, we have the lot number and the employee ID who handles the vaccine. That's all for my report and blessed be God forever.